Hey guys, what's up? Let's talk about the difference between uh, the two blurs, the Gaussian blur and the box blur today. Uh, a box blur works in this manner. Let me show you first what uh, the box blur has. So yeah, I'll use a 40 pixel radius box blur. Yeah. So um, here you can see that the line has been transformed into a very big rectangle and this is because a box blur works in this way it uh, averages each pixel its properties and all it takes out pixel all the properties it averages and uh, the averaging is done according to the radius we provide for example if I select this pixel over here uh, it actually uh, averages 40 pixels along horizontal direction as well as vertical direction and the resultant image has properties averaged out of this uh, because of which because of which uh, the resultant image is kind of boxy you can see lots of rectangles over here or uh, if I increase you can yeah you can see more and more rectangles and this is one uh, you can't you don't have uh, I don't say it's a defect but it's kind of um, a problem with box blur uh, whereas the second blur the Gaussian blur it works like this it uses the Gaussian function it is a very complicated function a Gaussian blur is used to remove the noise reduce it if not remove and um, it works really well in giving our final images really proper it doesn't give out the uh, hard rock edges unlike in the other one so yeah the, this is the basic difference between uh, a box blur and a Gaussian blur I recommend you guys to try it out with various images to understand this property and uh, it is often said that when you apply a box blur more and more like for about three times you achieve a Gaussian blur to an approximation of 3% what you would get uh, if at all you have uh, you had applied uh, Gaussian blur so yeah that's all guys that is the basic difference between a Gaussian blur and a, and a box blur thanks for watching see ya